Hello and welcome to Bears and Games. Today we're looking at uh, Beijing 2008. Uh, why, you might ask? Well, these pictures are of uh, one of my favorite shot put players. His name is uh, Manolo Martinez. And he's pretty amazing. I'm not the only person who likes him. He was featured in the movie uh, Bear Cub. Ugh, I hate that picture. Anyway, these pictures are from his website. Uh, check it out. He's got a whole PDF file. And uh, they all show off his crotch for some reason. And also, there's Matthias Steina, who won the gold medal in weightlifting last year. Uh, as you can see, that's his uh, celebration. And yeah, he's just uh, one of the best looking athletes I've ever seen. That's his, that's his victory pose. See, there he is, a uh, gold medal winner. And uh, I figured, why not play Beijing 2008 since there's so many damn hot guys in uh, weightlifting and uh, shot put and all these sports. So there you go. That was my thinking behind it. And uh, let's get started with these guys. Now I got it for the uh, Xbox 360 here. And... Um, it's a Sega game. Sega. It got really lousy reviews, so I rented it. I didn't buy it. Don't worry. I don't have a uh, paperweight here. Now, could it be as bad as they say? Because uh, sometimes game reviewers go a little hard on these kind of uh, sports games. Because they are meant really to be played with by kids and, you know, with a group of people, like four players, sort of all banging on controllers together. So I started up. And it starts with this amazing panoramic flyby of what they called the bird's nest out in Beijing. And unfortunately, it kind of looks like a Xbox One slash PS2 game. It's all, it's all right. It's not terrible looking, but it's not impressive. The detail in the city and stuff. Oh, look, you can launch fireworks. This is a great use of uh, time and... I guess, uh, you know, when you simulate the Olympics, you want to go through all the thrill that is the opening ceremonies. Except, of course, you don't see the actual opening ceremonies. You don't see uh, the different teams or anything. So, you know, that's it. When they say no frills release, this is what they would mean. There's very little frill at, at all. It is frillless. Now let's check out Shot Put. Welcome First thing you might notice... Put. No uh, real players. So, as much as I'd like to play Manolo Martinez, he's not there. Um, instead, you have a generic group of people, like this guy. And it's a random guy every time. You can't even choose which guy you want to have uh, when you play it this way. So, you know, I figured I'd, I'd give this game a start. Actually, I like this model a lot. Like, uh, it's a good build. It's a pretty realistic build and looks actually very good. Uh, so, there you go. There's one point. The character models are not bad at all. And, uh, let's get started. Attempt one. Now, there's no prompts really on screen. Foul. So, when you try to learn these games, uh, you're sort of on your own. There's nothing actually telling you what to do. And, uh, when you actually start the uh, tutorial, as I went back and did, it doesn't actually help you that much. It says rotate left stick or right stick to gain power. Press and hold left trigger or right trigger to throw, change the throw angle. And then release to throw the shot. And it doesn't work that way. I, I tried it like that and it didn't work. It took me, I don't know, 15 minutes of, of screwing up before I actually threw a, a real shot. See, if, if they had some prompts on screen showing you exactly what you should be doing while you're doing it instead of in the tutorial mode, like, uh, you know, modern games tend to have, it might have actually been worth playing. Finally, I, I sort of just messed around and, and ignored the instructions of the tutorial, and then I figured out, like, alternating buttons and stuff kind of works. Look at those legs. Hey. Yes. It's like the uh, junkies got there too. All right, that shot was uh, 2,672nd best shot ever made in the game. So I don't feel that bad. Then there's weightlifting. So I'm not expecting Matthias Steiner here since there are no licensed uh, official athletes. 
because that would have been so hard to do. Um, well, I mean, I, I admit there would have been a lot of athletes, but you could have at least got the top 10 uh, for each sport and tried a little bit. Uh, maybe not to model them perfectly, but to get a model that approximates their looks and, you know, height and stature. But instead you have the uh, generic guys. So here's the Germans. And, and you'll notice he's also not wearing anything like what uh, Matthias Steiner actually wore in the Olympics. So that, that's a bit of a, a bummer, too. This outfit's nowhere near as hot. Sort of sounds like uh, who wants to be a millionaire. And go. Do it. No, don't do that. See, there's, unless you actually do the tutorial, there's nothing telling you what you should or shouldn't be doing there, and what you actually have to do. Oh, geez. See, I sort of figured that part out. You know, rotating these sticks counter. You're rotating them counter to each other, so you're rotating your left and right stick opposite, which is possibly the least. See, look at this. That is not something you naturally do, and it's really odd to do on a controller. And slowly rotate uh, left stick and right stick outwards. What? And then balance. You can balance by moving those two. Oh, it seems simple enough, but when you actually try to do it and you're rotating sticks counter to each other, it is, it's just odd. It's because you're not ever used to doing this motion. And uh, this is something that the Wii would be so much better for if people actually knew how to make games for the Wii. And there we go, see? All right, that wasn't so bad. And now you rotate the sticks opposite to each other. And balance. And balancing is actually harder than it looks. You have to uh, keep this ball in there, and it's not very responsive. But I, I figured it out eventually. Personal best. Of course, it's the lightest weight possible. But I figure, why, uh, why strain myself with this? So you can customize your team. But the uh, customized character settings are basically saying which guy do you want to use. Uh, at least they do have for each uh, sport appropriate body types. Like it's the same between uh, wrestling, or not wrestling, uh, between uh, shot put and uh, weightlifting. But uh, they, they still look. I mean, that guy kind of looks like Manuel well, Martinez. And uh, as you can see. The Asians actually get the best represented out of all of them. Like, there's some actually kind of cute Asian cub types here, so that's sort of cool. But I wish that they had some sort of options on, uh, you know, facial hair and head hair, maybe trying to put yourselves an Olympic athlete. I think if they'd actually bothered to make a good game, these are some ideas they would have done, but there's probably a time and budget limitation. So let's take our custom character out here and uh, see how he does in the weightlifting. Welcome to weightlifting. Yeah, and I, I do one. like the the uh, Spanish suits better. Come on, Come on. Yes, yes. I could play this all day, but, but that's just me. I, I it, With a custom character, this would be pretty perfect. As is, though. Eh, it's okay. So that's Beijing 2008. Uh, not even worth a rental. Every week in a row, since your kids to go, all the sweet, sweet soccer. And the sweatshop worker I wanna go to dance Sure as the evening news You are singing alone Every week in a row Since you gave me the night And I got the drop. 